One of the really beautiful uses of using a laser is to actually be able to help sculpt and shape a, a smile. I'm particularly talking about shaping the gums and create an artistic balance so everything looks, has a flow and it has a geometric progression into the back of the mouth. What's really helpful in, in Evan's case is because we're doing a no prep uh, procedure is the only thing we're really gonna have to treat on, on, in his mouth is his gums, or his gums. So um, uh, another th great thing about the, the laser is it gives the dentist artistic control when doing treatment, so the patient doesn't have to be referred out to the dentist, to a periodontist or a, any surgeon to uh, adjust the shape of the gum and create that balance and symmetry that we're looking for. Uh, cosmetic dentists have a better, better idea how to shape the papilla, and one of the things we'll be doing today in, in Evan's treatment is actually creating papilla sites in here so that the porcelain will be able to flow into the gum tissue and the lab technician will be able to create an emergence profile for Evan to be able to keep his teeth uh, healthy and, and uh, beautiful for a long, long time. Now that we've designed our, where our sculpting pattern, we're going to actually start the sculpting. And here we're going to use the laser and we're going to set it, put it settings that are not the hard to set it settings, we're going to use the soft tissue settings of two watts and 20% water and 20% air. Now I found using that particular setting is actually very conservative and gives me the artistic flair that I need to do this. And what's really great is with the water lays, it's kind of like when um, Tim, uh, Kevin Costner played the in the movie Tin Cup and he was able to use a seven iron throughout the round after he trashed all his clubs. And I don't, I don't believe you need to have a lot of different settings. I think that you, once you learn to do this, kind of like when Tiger Woods is playing golf, He's learning to, sh he can shape his shots, and the more you practice and the more time you spend using the water lays, the more, just like even a handpiece, you learn to feather and, and do things and get a, a, a touch with this. So there's a, a little bit of a learning curve here, but at the same time, as you're doing this and you gain some experience and you take some great training courses, you really can get the hang of this. You know, we've already done a... spot probing, and we've got quite a bit of gingival tissue to work with, and we're not taking that much away. We're just creating a better framework. An aesthetic result. Constantly checking here. I mean, this is the only prepping we're really doing today. No need to rush this part. That noise you're hearing on the laser is actually the pulsing. of the laser energy itself. 